Priya, last week uh, we noted the movement in the 10-year and the two-year is kind of interesting. It seemed to signal, uh, I don't think that the Fed was going to ease up. It almost seemed to signal that the economy was slowing more than people had, had really imagined with the, with the retail sales. Should that have been something we liked? The market sold off on it, the stock market. It's like, oh, my God, we went from inflation to recession fears. But then once we got back to three and a half on the 10-year, now I'm wondering, what, what are we supposed to, to make of it? Sure. So we've had quite a move lower in rates this year. I think most of it was actually inflation fears that that were coming down. I do think that uh, that a recession is very likely later this year. You know, but I th I think we we saw that first sign in that retail sales number. Now I will say that goods in. Uh, you know, goods consumption is declining. So, and this is the intended consequence of Fed tightening. So, you know, I do think that the economy is going to slow. I think the market may be a little bit too optimistic that the Fed is done, that the economy is going to slow that fast. We actually think GDP is going to come out strong. I mean, things are slowing clearly, but we think service consumption is not slowing down into recession territory. I actually think interest rates can rise a little bit, but you get close to 4% on the 10-year, you're supposed to buy. You're supposed to be in fixed income because I think later this year, the economy slows down. We all look for the Fed. And the Fed says, well, you know, we told you there was going to be some pain. We really need to make sure that inflation's, you know, closer to 2%. And I think that move, you know, the move from 8 9% to 4%, I think is so much easier in inflation. When you get from 4 to 2 that last bit is going to be really hard because that's really, you know, uh, uh, you know, to do with service inflation, wage inflation. And I think the Fed's going to hold tight and not cut rates this year. So that's when, you know, rather than being in the front end, I think buying 10s, 30s, long end, and treasuries, long and fixed income, I think makes sense. But you have to be patient. It, there's a lot of uncertainty. I wouldn't be really chasing the move here. But if we get, you know, 375, 4%, I think those are good levels to own into an economy that's likely to head into a recession, uh, you know, later this year. We'll get to Michael uh, in a second. But Priya, one, one last question. Do, do you see a softening in ever so slightly with, with the Fed's rhetoric or, or you know, not being data dependent. Now they're more data dependent, quarter points, not a half or three quarters. And maybe is there a little bit of a, a pivot coming or, or do you at least see the body language of, of the maybe, maybe the beginning of a pivot? Sure, great point. And I, I think the word pivot has been banned by the Fed, so I'm not going to say whether this is a pivot. I do think that the body language is changing. You know, they're getting nervous about, I would say, two-sided risk to both growth as well as inflation. Inflation has come in weaker than what a lot of people thought, and growth is starting to weaken. So I think what they want to do is go slower. You know, when it's a little murky out there, I guess, uh, you know, uh, you end up driving a little bit slower. So I, I, I think that's the plan, that, that they're going to, in, in our view, downshift again, go 25 basis points, but keep going. I think that's the message the market hasn't heard. The market thinks 125 in February probably means one more and they're done. Our view is the Fed's going to keep going at 25 up until the second quarter, and then importantly, stay there. They really want to make sure inflation's down. So I think that's the message. They still have to communicate. It's very hard because we don't get a dot yeah. plot. But I, I do think that they're swiveling or, or, or pivoting. They're trying to tell us that we can keep going, but, uh, but at a slower pace.